Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. I'm Mal Williams with the sales department here at Marathon Coach. And thank you to everybody who's continuing to watch the show and continuing to comment. If you have any comments, please leave your comments right there on Facebook or YouTube, or you can always email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. We're really enjoying doing Marathon Mondays with Mal, and today's pretty exciting. We are going to be looking at coach number 1263. It's an H double slide, and it is just about done. We're not gonna look at the inside yet. That's gonna be probably for the next coming week, but we're gonna look at what goes into detailing the paint at the very end of the process of production. And today we've got Edgar here. Edgar, thanks for spending some time with us this morning. No problem. Edgar is a, a lead painter with our paint team. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. How long have you been with Marathon? Uh, 12 years. 12 years. And that is a very good example of kind of the team here at Marathon. We've got a lot of guys that have been here a long time, and you're a good example of that. So thank you for taking the time uh, today to talk to us about the paint. Um, let's, let's just walk over here. Tell us what these guys are doing. Well, right here we have a, a coach that has been painted and detail for the first part of it but then it goes to production and then after that we have to do a final inspection on the whole coach okay so that means that we're gonna do a final polish just make sure everything is you know top notch so you guys have it pretty much at the beginning when it's a shell yeah you guys have it for like 20 some days right yeah, correct and then it goes into production and they do all the installation mm -hmm. and then you get it again yeah, and that's because, you know, being here in production, you know, there are, it gets dusty, you yes. know, somebody might put a hand on the, on the coach or whatnot, and after that, we need to take care of all that detail. So, basically, we need to get ready for uh, delivery. Okay. So, that's kind of what, what we do. So, it has to be cleaned up all the days, and um, the outside of it has to be totally cleaned up. Now I'm watching what he's doing here, mm -hmm. and he's getting very defined on yeah. what he's doing. Can you describe, I, and I, we walked around the coach before we started filming, mm -hmm. uh, and we saw there's several of the guys from the paint team working mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Let's let's walk around and tell me what each guy is doing and the importance of it. Well, you have to look at the coach, and you know, you have any little detail like a dirt or something that really pops up on the on the paint job you need to take care of it so at this point that's what he's doing you know if you have excess clear in a certain area of the coach you okay. go ahead and take care of that you know you sand it make sure it's flat so um, sure where there was too much clear little, yeah okay. everything is nice and even it's a beautiful paint job yep. so let's go over here and take a look Give you a good shot of the side of the coach. So, are we using a wax or a polish on this? Oh, that's a glaze. That's a glaze. Yeah, and that's it's probably you know the, the finishing uh, step for us. You know, once everything has been uh, buffed out and you know we sand it first, then we buff it out. And then at the end, we polish everything so it has a good good shine and everything looks just nice and clean well let me ask you this somebody brought up to me a couple weeks ago the difference between a wax mm -hmm. and a polish yeah can you tell us about that so basically you know the polish right now you know it's gonna give you a really really nice shine but when you apply the wax that's actually gonna protect the paint job so okay. when you know they dry it out and you know the rain dirt you know all that that's what the wax is gonna gonna do it's gonna protect to change that so. so wax to protect polish to shine that's right yeah. and do you want to do both of them or do you only need to do you not want to do both of them uh you should do both but there's a there's a catch when you have a fresh uh, paint job you have to wait a certain amount of time so the paint actually dries sure and then you can apply the wax okay that's the only rule but other than that yeah the, the suggestion would be yeah do a wax job so you can Okay. Drive it with no problem. You know, it's just gonna last longer. You know, it's easier to wash. You know, you you wax the coach and you know, or your car, and you know, you wash and everything just kind of. It's easier to keep clean. Off. Yeah. 
So, so how long does a wax last? A, a wax job on this? It depends on the on that kind of product you use. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the conditions. You know, I mean, you drive it a lot. You know, you need to definitely um, do it more often. Okay. But okay. yeah, no, you know, definitely you have a few months of, of protection. Sure. With no problem. Okay. A beautiful, beautiful paint job. Well, let's go down here and take a look a little bit closer at what he's doing here. So it's a liquid, it's a liquid polish? Yeah, that's right. So in this case, you apply just you know, a small amount of it. And you run your machine over the surface just to give it that, that shine. And you know, it also acts like a protective film, you know, at the end, but uh, again, not as strong as uh, what the waxes do. Sure. But yeah, you apply it and then you just um, wipe the excess off of it and you're good to go. So this is something that you guys do now. How long does this process take at the very end uh, before a customer will take um, yeah, take over the coach? It takes about two days okay. to detail it. And you know, because only, not only we do this, we have to make sure, you know, if there's any overspray uh, detail inside the base, everything. So we take care of that too. So you know, two days is what it takes as far as to get it ready to so we can give it to the customer. Excellent. Let's go to the front of the coach here real quick. Hey, Rod. <laughs> so, let's talk real quick about the protective uh, shield that mm -hmm. goes over the nose. Um, is that something your department does? Well, we, we don't do it anymore. We used to do it, now we have uh, the subcontracts in order to do it. Okay. Uh, now, when you are waxing or polishing around that, mm -hmm. do you need to be careful of it? Yeah, definitely. There's another product that is um, made for this material, for okay. this film. Okay. And, uh, and it is totally different than that, uh, of what we use. So once you have, uh, have your film on, on, uh, installed, you have that, uh, it's a liquid as well, it's kind of like a wax, and then okay. it protects the film, but that's independent from what we do. Excellent. As I know, we have a lot of owners that would be wondering that, you know, you've got, you've got this protective film and you don't want to, you know, you don't want residue from That's the right, wax. Yeah. So you have to use a specific product. Yeah. Okay. That works with this. And, you know, it's, it's the same thing as, as the wax, you know, once you, you know, especially being on the front of the coach, you get all the bugs and all the dirt. So yes. once you apply that, it's easier to, to wash everything off of it. Okay. So let's move on to the uh, driver's side here one more time. So, how much of this coach did you paint yourself? On this one, I didn't actually paint. You didn't paint yeah. this one? I just went around to make sure everything was, you know, done. And gotcha. Well, it sure is beautiful, and, and uh, I think getting a good idea, a glimpse into the audit process mm -hmm. down here in the audit, audit bay, um, clearly shows our customers uh, and people that are watching uh, how much time and detail and craftsmanship goes into uh, getting the coach looking great and it, and it truly does yeah we have different you know uh, groups of people and in this case like these guys work they're finishing it off right now and making sure everything is nice uh, has a good shine and everything and then in the booth we have another group of guys that you know they've been painting this and make it making it look pretty you know how many guys do you have on the team 16 16 painters yeah. 16 guys on the painting that's awesome yeah okay what's the what's the pink solution that he's uh, detailing with right here that is just a, a cleaner it's liquid just like any other uh, product to clean in hand. and what that does actually it bites into the residue of any glaze that you have okay it dries you know when that the glaze dries you know it, it leaves a, like, like a film sure so you apply that and cleans that right off nice without scratching the, the surface okay. so yeah you need to be careful because you know you have all the work that you put into it and then you don't want to come back mm -hmm. and scratch exactly. everything again so that helps you know it kind of glaze and over it so 
Well, I'm excited to see uh, this next week when we can go inside. We're gonna, I think we're gonna uh, shoot our marathon Mondays next week, looking at the inside. Mm -hmm. So, thank you for taking the time this yeah, morning no uh, to talk about the auditing process with the paint team. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, my thank you to Edgar. Thank you to the entire team uh, on the paint squad. And um, thank you for watching Marathon Mondays with Mal. Leave your comments. Send me some emails. And we'll see you next Monday. Yeah, thank you. No problem, That's excellent. I, you know, I had no idea. Uh, it was two days.